What is up guys, we have some exciting news that has come out over the past few days regarding the Knuckles TV show among a plethora of Sonic news and hype so let's get into it. Now the first thing that most people are already aware of is that Kid Cudi announced on his Twitter that filming for the Knuckles show has wrapped. Now what isn't exactly clear is if this is just his scenes or the whole show in general. However, I imagine that they are still working on principal photography and are likely going to spend a few months on post production in order to to finish animating Knuckles in every scene. From what Cuddy had to say, it really seems like this is going to be a fun show and we should be seeing a trailer within several months since this show is still slated for late 2023. Which honestly is going to be insane with all the Sonic things dropping this year, like the Lego sets, Sonic Prime, and the newly announced Sonic Superstars game. So that's a huge dub for Sonic fans, it's going to be a jam packed year. I'm really curious what role Cuddy will play in the show, but regardless Regardless if it's just a fun cameo or not, I'm hoping he drops more music for Sonic. If you're not already aware, he did the song Stars in the Sky for the second Sonic movie, and I honestly thought it was great so please give us more. Now the really interesting news that just came out was that several more huge names have just signed on to the show. The first big one that really had me excited is Christopher Lloyd, who's probably most known for his portrayal of Doc Brown in the Back to the Future movies. I grew up watching those movies and I think he's a great actor so I'm really excited to have him in a Sonic project. Now I'm gonna put my tinfoil hat on for just a second but if this show really wants to build up to the third Sonic movie to get everyone hyped I think it would be absolutely genius of them to have Christopher Lloyd portray Gerald Robotnik in either flashbacks or video recordings. Okay tinfoil hats off for a bit. So the next actor on board for the Knuckles show is going to get my mom very excited since it's none other than Carrie Yules. A lot of people might recognize recognize him from Stranger Things since he recently starred in it. However, his more popular roles are Wesley in The Princess Bride, Robin Hood in Men in Tights, and Dr. Gordon in the first Saw movie. I mean, he really has a great track record when it comes to film, which has me excited for his role in this show. Perhaps we're gonna see him as the mayor of Green Hills, just like he was the mayor in Stranger Things, who knows? Others being added to the cast include Stalker Channing, who I'm honestly not very familiar with, but she was Rizzo in Greece. Alongside her is Rob Hubel, who I'm also very unfamiliar with unfortunately, though he has voice characters in Bob's Burgers, which I really enjoy that show. And finally, Paul Shear, who has been in so many things I can't even list them all. These are some really impressive cast members being added onto an already talented crew, so I'm really excited for what's to come. So I wanted to address something that kind of rubbed me the wrong way. There have been plenty of articles talking about this impressive cast, but the one that I I initially saw came from Yahoo Entertainment and the headline alone already disrespects Sonic fans and creators. I'll read the first few lines here to show you how disrespectful it is to this franchise. Quote, Normally we wouldn't devote large portions of our brains to thinking about a television show about Knuckles, the small red dog man from the Sonic the Hedgehog video games and the subsequent movie Sonic the Hedgehog 2, but Paramount seems bound and determined to make us care. End quote. It's one thing to not be in the community or really even care about it. Not everyone has to like Sonic and that's fine, but if you're reporting on the casting, why be disrespectful to a franchise that's lasted over 30 years and clearly you don't know much about? Let me know how you guys feel about this article in the comments because I was kind of taken back by how condescending this guy was. Clearly someone is not a fan of the blue blur. But I don't want to end on a sour note because we do have a lot to be excited about with new info about this show dropping more and more every day. And with all of that done and out of the way guys, I want to wish you all the best, take care, peace.